Hi fellow life fasters, Matt with Lifomic here. And I just wanted to walk you through today how to use the basic fast tracking features in the app. So once I start my fast by hitting the, the blue start fast button, you'll notice I have the option now to change my start time and or change my target fast time. So that's just as simple as clicking on one of those. You'll notice I can change both of them here if I want by clicking on the pencil. I can also delete this if I want, if I made a mistake and I don't want to track my fast, or if I had a little late night binge towards the end, which means I'm not fasting anymore today. Um, once you edit that and hit update, it'll go back and adjust the fasting time appropriately. Uh, you can also change just the total duration of your fast without changing the start and end time by hitting the plus and minus buttons in the app as well. And you'll notice that changes the target stop time as well as uh, moves that little ketosis indicator which we have set to start with uh, at 12 hours into your fast. Uh, once you hit the end fast button, you'll get the option again to update your fast. You can change the start and end time. We do have some data validation in there, so I can't save an end time that's in the future. I can't save a start time that's after the end time, you know, some simple kind of things like that. We make sure that we, uh, we help our users out by keeping them within those guardrails. But um, once I've, I've got this where I want, I just hit end fast and that saves it to my fasting history within my profile and I'm ready to go for the next time I wanna track a fast in the app. So that's, uh, that's the nuts and bolts of tracking your fasts in the Life Fasting Tracker. Thanks.